Being a poor single mom is a challenge. How does Stephanie rise out of poverty? Made, a memoir by Stephanie Land. Stephanie is a young adult who has a dream of going to college and becoming a writer. But she gets into a relationship and she gets pregnant. Her boyfriend wants her to abort. She wants to keep the child. She rips up the college application and they make the best of it to be a family. But after a year of physical and verbal abuse, she wants a better life for her daughter, Mia. She moves into a homeless shelter and she gets a job working at a cleaning company. While Mia is in daycare, Stephanie works very hard. She has to provide her own car, her own gas, her own supplies, and she gets no benefits, no health insurance, no vacation days, no sick days. So when Mia is sick, as children often get sick, she takes her to daycare. But one day the daycare says, no, she needs to stay home, she's too sick. So Stephanie stays home with her and she gets fired from work. Misses one day, she gets fired because she's not dependable. Very frustrating. So she gets another job at another cleaning company making less money but at least they're more understanding with children being sick and having to take an occasional sick day. However, Stephanie wants to get out of the homeless shelter and then out of transitional housing. It's very difficult to live in that type of housing. There are a lot of restrictions and that's more explained in the book. So she starts taking on her own clients and she can make double the money with her own clients, which is great but she still can't save because the more money she makes, the less government assistance she gets, and then she has to pay more for the daycare. So she's still not able to get ahead. So how does Stephanie get out of poverty? She has three things going for her. Number one, education. She has a diploma and she has a goal of becoming a writer. Number two, She's a hard worker and she believes in herself. And number three, she has a variety of support. Some of her clients are very supportive of her for going after her dream. And when she applies at the community college, she applies for every type of government assistance she can, as well as maxing out loans. She knows she's going to go into debt and she'll have to repay them but this is the only way that she is going to get out of this situation. There are two things I really admired about Stephanie. One was her ability to avoid toxic communication. When she is accosted by rudeness in the grocery store, people making fun of her for using food stamps, she doesn't engage in battle. She says, I have to go, and she leaves the store. The same thing as if somebody is being rude to her on the phone. I have to go, and she hangs up. And that's really important to not let that toxic communication mire you down in negativity. The second thing is that she expresses both sides of the situation. When she sees that people are being mean to her, yes, it hurts, but she is able to see that they are struggling with their own issues and are often projecting anger onto her. So being able to recognize this prevents her from drowning in negativity and holding in that anger. If you can let frustrations go and stay positive, it's a lot easier to move forward. Keep reading.